Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spec Joe's Origins, episode 33, second to last episode of the game. It's sweet, guys, because we're finally going to go to the Crawl Sphere this time. And if you watched us last time, we just kicked the crud out of Jado. It was amazing, in fact. In fact, it was kind of sad. We felt a little bit bad yeah. for him. <laughs> Things happen, Crawl died, and we felt a little yeah. bad for Jada. Jada. But it but was a good... But we won, so who cares? <laughs> it was a good day. Anyway, so the ultimate form also came out and kind of blew up all the crawl that were impending and coming to kill us all. We but Terra must not be destroyed! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go to the crawl sphere now, and the cutscene should activate automatically. By the way, my name is Jay Ron, I got my co-host. Homerman76. And we're so happy to be on the end of the game. We'll see you on the other side of this cutscene. Peace out. Zero hour. The fate of we Terra is up for grabs. Yeah. We should brace ourselves for some pretty ferocious fighting. You scared? No way. All set? You kidding? Let me at him. All right then. Coordinates confirmed and locked in. Target, Crawlosphere. We'll take it at cruising speed to about 120 deep space miles. Then max it out to shake the gravitational field. Got it! Yikes. The whole thing's a huge mass of crawl. Got an entry point. Looks good. Let's do it. My favorite words. Spoiler alert, they fail and everybody dies. <laughs> That's if Don't we listen. sucked at the game. <laughs> Don't listen to J-Rod. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I would sure hope that we're not going to fail, because we're the yeah. one playing this game. And if we showed you guys that on camera, it was like, hey, we died. That'd be embarrassing. Anyways, yeah, anyway, but you know, I find it how I find it interesting how it's just there's just conveniently these holes right to the s center of the crawlosphere. It's like so we can, I don't think there's it's a really. hole. There's a big enough hole for us to fly into it, and now there's a hole directly toward the crawlosphere, <laughs> the center of the crawlosphere, the weak point. I don't think it's What's really all Bill? that convenient. I believe this is probably just. I don't What's know. What's up with the structure? I don't think that the villains intentionally like, hey, let's put a hole to the inside. <laughs> well, if, you not if you notice in video, when it comes down to video games, um, Speak villains words. have a high tendency to just reveal their weak points for no <laughs> apparent reason. Oh, well, see, so if they didn't have a weak point, there would be no way to beat them. The game would suck in that case. Um, uh, but yeah, so if you guys notice, uh, I am not norm not using my normal sword, which you guys have probably realized is my signature weapon. He likes swords a lot, if you haven't, you know, noticed. noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but for uh, the Crawl of Sphere, I'd advise equipping your fastest axe. Uh, I went with the Giga Axe, which is one of Giga our Giga Axe S. Whatever. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> it makes a difference to me. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, um, the Giga Axe is actually one of our scan input, uh, axes, and I kind of like it because it's a double swing axe. Unfortunately, that double swing is not, um, something you can choose to do so it's, it's you, mandatory yeah it's mandatory if you swing it once you will swing again which sucks sometimes because sometimes a crawl there's a crawl to your left and you've already killed the crawl in front of you and you're like oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap oh, <laughs> I got hit. yeah but it is a really nice axe for the crawl sphere it is pretty quick it does a double swing and it's pretty kicking because it's super strong not um, to, but yeah so definitely equip an axe because there will be a lot of defensive armor yeah types. especially mini bosses in this area because that um, to get to the center of the crawl sphere, Homerman was saying that there was conveniently a hole to the center. I don't believe it's all that convenient. In fact, there's just a small little hole to like inner to the crawl sphere, but not exactly to the center. In fact, we have to travel to the center by beating several mini bosses. Three, in fact. Yeah, and but it's convenient in the fact that we don't have to blast our way through. Yeah, but it. Yeah. Upon beating the third mini boss, we will yeah, automatically have to face die. crawl. And so we don't plan on doing the entirety of the Crawl Sphere in this one episode. We'd love to, but we have to stop right before um, 
facing the final boss because that yeah. has to be its own episode. No way around that. That's just how <laughs> it has to be. All right. So this guy is actually, he's you probably going to be familiar small, to you. You deal with a small fry, I'll deal with this guy. Uh, well, actually, I feel like I should deal with him because I got a sweet he's combo. He's in armor. Uh, oh, I was going to get the back of his tail. Anyway, shove it. He, Boom. The problem is that he's an armor type. As you can see, <laughs> it didn't work very well. Yeah. Oh, well. So um, that's why I'm dealing with him while you deal with the small fry. <laughs> Okay, but in any case, um, like I was saying, this guy does seem familiar to you guys, and that's for a good reason, because... He's the third mini-boss. Yep. In fact, all the bosses we face here, well, actually, only two of them, uh, two of the three, are um, mini-bosses that we fought in the past, and they're just very powered-up versions of them. Luckily for us, we have powered-up versions of the crawl. As I said, you still deal, with kind the, of... deal with the small fry. <laughs> I shall be stubborn thing. till the end. <laughs> well, at least use the Zapazor, who is an art, basically an axe-type uh, spectro himself. No, he's not really. See, the Leviathan was plenty good for him. Anyway. Okay, you, <laughs> do you realize you just stole my kill? I don't. I, I do. I, I do realize, and that was the entire point of it. <laughs> You're a jerk. I know. <laughs> but these things please me. <laughs> if you guys notice though, there are lots, a lot of oh, black, minerals. black minerals, purple minerals in the ground in these mini boss areas. And if you guys aren't so, exactly to a high enough se level yet. Training session. Yeah, but for us, we're pretty confident with taking down the um, crux at yeah. the very end. Um, yeah, I, I feel pretty confident about it, judging Same. by what happened to Jado, because Crux compared to Jado is probably 1.5 yeah. times harder, in my opinion. But judging by how quickly Jado went down, that's like saying that a level 10 monster against your level 20 Pokemon is still an issue. <laughs> yeah, it, it just isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's like considering how things went for us when we first... Uh, when we did the final boss our first time, well, not our first time, the first time I did it with- First time we played through this game. The first, yeah, the first time we played through this game. First time I did fought Crux, I was doing it with Nathan, and he's not as proficient as <laughs> controlling the crawlers. Yeah. <laughs> our brother but Nathan tried uh, beating Crux, and then I, we came back to it like a few months later, and I'm like, here, let me try this, and we beat him like, hmm, so, about me being better than him. <laughs> and of course, kind of though, fun. then again, at the same time, uh, I kind of realized, Hey, axes, good idea! Yeah, he's been kind of stubborn since the beginning. Anyways, so for in terms of where your spectrum should be, we were talking about if they're not ready, you should train. Spectrum around this time should be level 60 plus, preferably, to have an easy enough time with a boss, either that or just not to ki get killed. <laughs> brutally, brutally killed. Um, <laughs> and so that goes without saying for the mini bosses as well. They're just not as big of a threat. So in the very beginning of this, um, in our ship, we have the save point. So if you guys just want to go back inside the ship and come back outside all over again just to train on these guys, it'd be pretty fast. Because if you haven't seen my Leviathan, he's level 64. He was 62 when we began, the, began this episode, which was only roughly 10 minutes ago. And he's gained two levels. Yeah, I mean, just look at how much and he's then killing them. Just look at what he's doing to the guys that he's uh, not very effective to. <laughs> Is he really not very effective to them? Yeah. And they're, he's still doing like 300 damage. Sky type. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just his combo. His combo's so sweet. See? Three levels already. Um, but yeah. Up uh, here coming will be a mini yeah. boss that is kind of tedious. So, I believe that the third mini boss is actually the most tedious. Yeah. And but yeah. so uh, for this part, it'd probably be a good idea to actually switch to a higher speed thing because, as you notice, these small things they just don't really go down very easily. But then, oh. but then you might be switching back to your axe. Huh. Charge, it, charge, it, charge it! 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 Shut! He's not defensive, so he's going down. Look at that. It's sweet. Nope, he's not dead. Well, I didn't say he was dead. I just say he's going down. That was if you pretty notice, good hit, this though. is the um, Sky ah, Tower guy. Ah, I hate Sky that. Tower guy. Yeah, Sky Tower guy. Um, he's always been a, die, one of my more die, favorite bo mini bosses. Die. So I'm kind of glad that we got to face him here. Haha! -ha, I stole your kill this time. Well, that's okay. I was paralyzed, so I couldn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I still stole. I still stole your kill. That was for stealing well, my kill. Well, whatever the case. Um, <laughs> so in fact, this has gone a lot quicker than I thought it would. We're almost to the third room, which is where we'll have to break off with you. There is one more tunnel, I believe. Yeah. 
Okay, so we go through that tunnel, then we'll have to say adios amigos and let you know that we're, we will be here for you next time with the finale, which should be sweet. Oh, don't get it, don't get it. Oh! Uh, okay, you guys get a little bit more time. More face time. <laughs> <laughs> to pull Pakora uh, from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, I'll be darned if I let this show go down without my bloody contract time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of what the Vyth is saying right now. Uh, what the? Yeah. Oh, no wonder. Slow effect. It's been so long since I got the slow effect. You were saying? Um, so the um, reason that we're have, gonna have to cut back the room just before, there is one more mini boss fight. I However, already told them this. I don't remember you saying yeah, that. <laughs> I said Anyways, it like two. I said it during the first mini, first mini oh, boss. There's whatever. three of them. On the third one, you automatically go to fight Crux. I don't remember you saying <laughs> that part at least. Well, I did. I don't think you did. <laughs> you can check in the playback. Because that's what's gonna happen. Well, at least you got. <laughs> well, we reminded them, so. There. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so. I mean, just a little bit more. If you guys saw me switch out to this switch, guy. Switch, switch, no, switch. No, 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 no. 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 I'm, def I'm definitely using this guy. I was about to explain it, in fact. <laughs> um, so the reason I switched out to this guy okay, is. Okay, I'm gonna switch weapons. These oh, okay. guys are gonna need. We're gonna need a little <laughs> bit of speed on on this one yeah um so you guys want to have all your specials charged up before you go to fight crux because he is pretty I hard to fight even with so um high level spectrum i feel like try trying it seeing yeah. what's so great about it even with high level spectrum he is still kind of hard boss so oh you do want to make sure you have your specials because they are the things that why haven't i been using this thing <laughs> luckily for crux he doesn't have yeah. a shield m unlike most mini bosses and so you can kill him with uh specials fairly easily in fact, this uh, yeah, strategy I'll be coming up with, which I will explain next time as well, is the Berserk Mode um, special for the Leviathan. For every bit of HP you lose, you gain attack. In fact, at 50% HP, you get 50% attack increase. So, if I have him out and have him lower on HP just because he's been, you know, fighting him, I use a special and hopefully that should be a good amount of damage. Yeah. I don't know how much to expect because it is Crux. But, with that Whatever. being said, you'll have to see it next time, because I can't give away too much, because it is a sweet boss fight and a sweet last cutscene. Seriously, it's pretty awesome, if you haven't seen all that. <laughs> oh, kind of noticed that he's already back on his um, special, which means switch to Leviathan, because now that you guys are fire types, there's literally no hope, because he's going to do about... Oh, level up again. <laughs> this yeah. is awesome. He's going to do about 400, 500 for every swing, and he does like, what, 50 swings? No, they're dead. No, that guy's not. <laughs> well, no, fun. they're dead. Anyways, so that's the last battle before we get to go to the last mini boss. So we will have we will have to end right here. Um, so been good, guys. Uh, I I'm happy to do the last episode with you guys next time. Uh, been Jaron. Been Homerman76. And we'll see you actually in a week because I should be uploading this tomorrow. But I want to upload the finale on Thanksgiving at 12 so, so give be, th be uh, so give thanks for the finale <laughs> give thanks um, to spectrums it, it, it was nothing <laughs> to do with thanksgiving i just thought that since as a, as a holiday people would be excited to see it on a holiday yeah. so we'll see you down on thanksgiving for a finale be nice seeing you there again jayron homer man peace out bye